Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be finishing off my two-part series of what's in my bag. So I originally recorded this as one video, but in going through the editing, I realized I had so many tips and tricks and gadgets to share with you guys that I decided to break it up into two videos. So this is part two. If you want to, go back and watch part one first. If you've already watched part one, we're gonna dive right in, get into part two of this video, and go through the rest of the gadgets and all of the tips that I have for traveling and what I carry in my bag. So without further ado, let's get into it. The main reason that I got this bag a number of years ago was because of the camera compartment in here. What's really great about this bag is they make it really easy to access your camera. You can zip it up halfway and just have this flap that lifts up like this. There are two pockets for SD cards right here. And then you can arrange the inside of it in any configuration you want. You also have this spot here with this Velcro and this flap for your camera. Now, I only have one camera and I'm filming with it right now, so you just have to use your imagination. Pretend there is a camera right here Back here is where the lens slots in, so the lens goes back, the camera body sits right here. So if I have this on my back, I see something that I want to shoot, I can just undo this halfway, reach in here, grab my camera, pull it out, get the shot, put it back in, close this up, and I'm good to go. So uh, really nice design there, but of course you can also open this up the entire way and so now I have the compartments but you can't see it because I have on top this felt sleeve it's an incredibly simple design that is really effective it's just a felt sleeve with a row of magnets all the way around so you can just shove whatever you want in here and then the magnets seal it up all the way around let's take a look at what I have in here so I keep all these odds and ends in here so they're not knocking around in the camera bag. Because this is felt, it also adds a nice extra layer of padding and protection for everything else in the camera section. Going through what's in here, I have my Apple Pencil. If I'm traveling with my iPad, I like that it's in here nice and secure. I also have a fast charger block. This is just the charger block from Apple. If I was traveling internationally, I of course would need one with a different plug. I have two cables in here. USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to Lightning. So the USB-C to USB-C can charge my MacBook, my iPad, and the USB-C to Lightning can charge my iPhone and also this MagSafe Duo travel charger. So this is a Lightning connector in the back that charges my Apple Watch and the iPhone through the MagSafe. Folds up really nicely. It's magnetic itself and is a really great travel charger. I actually keep this by my bed when I'm not traveling. It's my primary charger for my iPhone and my Apple Watch every night. I also have this SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card reader. Connects to USB-C, so I can plug that into my iPad or my MacBook. This reader can transfer up to 500 megabytes a second. So it's a really fast card reader, great for on the go travel. You wanna get those photos off your camera, onto your computer or iPad for safe storage. This is a great way to get those photos transferred quickly. And then last up is this really handy multi-tool from Mininch. And this is a cool pen tool, they call it. It has this cap that you can pull off and so on here I have a, then a flathead screwdriver, but what's awesome about this is I can pull this flathead screwdriver bit out, put it into the back, and now I have a Phillips head screwdriver bit. And I can do that again. You can store up to six bits in this pen tool, and it comes with a lot of bit options. So what I did was I went through all the bits and found the right sizes for my tripods and screw heads and, and all of those things and then loaded them into the pen tool. This is the only tool I should need to adjust any of my camera gear, and then of course have standard stuff like a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. So this has been a, a really handy addition to this pack. So you just seal it up with the magnets, and these magnets are really strong, so you can see nothing's coming out. Really simple 
great design. I've really enjoyed this thing. So be sure to check this out. Again, I'll leave a link to everything I'm talking about in this video in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And be sure to subscribe for more content like this. If you enjoyed this video, I've got a bunch more of reviews, tech reviews, productivity tips, and a desk video that has a lot more gadgets like this. Let's get back into the bag. Next item is this camera strap from Joby. I've had this camera strap for probably five years, so really great quality. I've loved it. It screws into the tripod mount on the bottom of your camera, and then you sling it over your shoulder like so. And so your camera sits right back here on your back. So it's really great to bring up take a shot, swing it back around. I've really enjoyed this strap. I've taken it on every trip I've gone on and it's been a really great way to carry my camera around. Really comfortable and really easy access to the camera and to putting it away. It doesn't get in the way of what you're doing. It's been a really great option. Next up is this Bluetooth speaker from Denon. The sound quality of this is really good. What's really remarkable about this is that it's waterproof and dustproof, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like one of those like beach party speakers. It looks really clean and minimal. You could easily have this on your desk and it fits right in. It looks really nice and premium and the sound is great. I love to carry this around. It's great to just have music in a hotel room or when you're at the beach or at the pool or out doing photography and you want some music, you can just turn this on, connect it to your phone, put it in your backpack, listen to music that way. So great to have a Bluetooth speaker, especially one that looks like this and is waterproof and dustproof on top of it. Next up is a mini tripod from Manfrotto. And this one is a simple, just three leg design. And it has this ball head that you can maneuver the tripod head in any angle you want. And it comes with a connector or a grip for your iPhone. So you can put your iPhone in here and either have it in portrait or landscape mode. So really cool for doing photography with your phone. I found it also really great for FaceTime to just set up, put your phone in, FaceTime video, uh, instead of having to hold the phone the whole time, great way to talk with someone. And again, great to set up and do some photography. You can put it landscape mode. Also, you can take that whole connector off. So it just unscrews. And now this is a normal thread for a camera tripod. So then you can put your camera on this if it's not too heavy. I have a Sony a6300. So depending on the lens I put on there, this is more than enough to hold that camera and you can always position the lens to be parallel with one of the legs so that that leg is holding the weight of the lens. This has been a really great tripod that you can just throw into a bag, set up a stable shot with either your phone or your camera and again works fantastic for FaceTime. The thing that's of course missing in here is my camera which I'm currently filming with right now. So as I mentioned, I have a Sony a6300. I've had this camera for five years, so it's definitely time for an upgrade. I don't think Sony actually makes this camera anymore. So if you're looking for something similar, I left a link in the description below for the Sony a6400, which I think is their slightly better upgraded version of the 6300. The 6300 has served me really well. It's a 12 megapixel camera can film in 4K at 30 frames a second, 1080p at 120 frames per second. So I'm definitely missing out on that 120 frames per second 4K video. So very much looking forward to upgrading. But for now, this camera served me really well for both photography and also starting this YouTube channel. I've got a couple of different lenses. The lens that I keep on my camera pretty much all the time that I'm filming with right now is the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter lens. This lens is really versatile because you have that range from 17 to 28 millimeters. At 17, it's really great for wide shots. The last trip I went on, 
on was down to a small town outside of San Diego. After our first night, I woke up early, thought I would just walk around, maybe take some pictures of some flowers, drink some coffee, but there was actually a really awesome car show going on. I was so glad that I had this lens on my camera because the 17 millimeter lens is so great for taking car photography to really get a wide angle, cool low profile shots. I'll put some of my favorite shots that I took on screen here. You can see that I got with this lens. You can take really cool shots like this at 17 millimeters and then dial it into 28 millimeters to do some more portrait style photography. So I knew with this one lens, I would have a great range of options of taking in full scenes like going to the beach or the car show or zooming in with that 28 millimeter to do some more portrait style photography of family members. Next up in the bag is a portable battery pack. This one is by Jackery and I've had this for a really long time. Unfortunately, when I looked to put this link in the description, they no longer make this battery. This is a 20,000 milliamp battery. So I put a link to another 20,000 milliamp battery that should work great as well. I actually have two of these. If I'm going on a really long trip, I'll charge both of them up. So I basically never run out of power. This thing is powerful enough to charge my MacBook, which has been great on long flights. I can basically double my battery life. So I always have one of these in my pack. And like I said, if I'm traveling for a while, I pack two of these. And then the last thing that I love to carry is the DJI Osmo. This is a steady camera for your iPhone. This thing like just makes your shots look so cinematic. I can put my iPhone in here, kind of quickly get it lined up, power it on. And so now I have this iPhone steady camera and also has a motor inside so I can rotate the phone around. You can do this while you're filming too if you want to kind of track something. You can also rotate it into landscape or portrait mode and start recording and stop recording right from the handles. This is an awesome device to travel with because it takes up very little space. And you could get some really beautiful cinematic shots with this with just your iPhone and this little steady cam. Last year I took this up to Malibu for a horseback riding trip that my wife and I went on. And the shots that we got from this are just so nice to watch. It's like Red Dead Redemption in real life and really remarkable to get these types of shots on the back of a horse who's moving around and it's just so smooth and fluid. If I was just holding my phone, it'd be so shaky. This footage would not look this good at all, but with the steady cam, it's just so smooth and so cinematic that I just love watching these shots over and over again. And I'm so glad that we have them. It was a really beautiful, fun trip. And to be able to rewatch them in this cinematic experience is, is really special and brings back a lot of the emotions and enjoyment from the day. So I highly recommend grabbing one of these if you're doing any sort of traveling. This is a really great way to capture those special moments. All right, so that's it for the camera compartment. And then on the side here is a pouch for a water bottle. I also love to put in here a Joby Gorilla tripod. So if you aren't familiar with these, it is a small but heavy duty tripod that has totally flexible legs. So you can set it up kind of like a normal tripod, but then you can actually, you could wrap these legs around a branch or a fence. You can really twist them in any configuration that you want. So it's a great way to set up a shot and set up your camera on top of something or in a really unique location. And it has a tripod head that you can spin around as well, and you can mount your DSLR on here, or with that small Manfrotto tripod that I keep in the bottom here, you can use that iPhone mount to put on here as well if you just wanna film something with your iPhone. So this is a great option. They have a couple different sizes of these for different camera weights. So this is a great, option to keep in your bag. So because this is a camera bag, I think they planned for people to do this. So there's a strap that goes across to secure the tripod in there like that. Another great feature of this bag. Then we have the main pocket, which is really large. 
There's a zipper pocket in the back here. If you have a smaller iPad, it fits perfectly in the back here, which is really convenient. And then you can load this up with a good amount of clothes and underwear, socks, all that stuff. And then the last feature is the laptop sleeve in the back. The laptop slots in just like that, seal it up. And again, there are these hooks around every zipper so that you can secure it in place, just so it makes it you know a little harder, a little more time consuming to get in. Someone can't just come and unzip that pocket swipe the, the iPad or, or the MacBook out of there. Just makes it really secure. So that is a full rundown of what's in my bag, what's in this pack safe, cam safe bag. I've had this bag for probably five years. I love it, looks great, has plenty of storage for camera, tech gear, quick access to essential items, large pouch for enough clothes for a weekend or a bunch of jackets and things like that, laptop bag, Hope you've enjoyed this overview of everything that I keep in my bag. Let me know what you keep in your bag. If there's something you think I missed, something I should look into adding to my bag. Let me know if there's any items that I talked about today that you're planning on adding to your setup. Again, I'll leave links to everything I covered in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I cover a lot of tech, and gadget reviews, as well as productivity tips and tricks for just generally living a better life and using technology to do that, which is something I'm super passionate about. I hope you're passionate about that. And if you are, be sure to subscribe. There'll be much more content like this coming out. If you want to see more content like this, let me know. The easiest way to do that is by hitting the like button down below. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Peace.